Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you everyone? I hope you are all in a good condition and ready to study about noun. Today we are going to learn about the definition of noun, the examples of noun, and the categories of noun. Dear students, do you still remember about part of speech that we have already talked about previously? If you remember, one of the part of speech is noun. So what is noun? Let's talk about its definition. The simple definition of a noun is a thing and it is used for naming word. In this context, nouns become the basic building blocks of sentences. These things can represent a person, animal, place, idea, and also emotions. Almost anything that you can think of, for example, lion, Sam, the girl, beach, and also idea. As it is the basic building blocks of sentences, the more nouns you know in a language, the better you will be able to communicate your ideas. Here, I will take a closer look at the more examples about noun. All right? Okay. Ha, dear students, now you can see that these things represent noun, such as a boy, cat, apple, island, and also Aisha. From these examples, we know that there are various types of nouns. Now, let's identify nouns in sentences. Dear students, here are the examples of nouns in sentences. Can you guess which ones are the nouns? Yes, you're right. The nouns are identified by the bold in the sentences. So, in the sentence, the boys and the girls were playing and laughing as they crossed the bridge on the way to their homes. The nouns are the boys and girls, bridge, way, and homes. In the sentence, I love watching my flowers in the garden. The nouns are I, my flowers, and the garden. And finally, in the sentence, it's raining. Everyone, take your umbrella and walk quietly. The nouns are it, everyone, and your umbrella. So, from the examples, we can see that there are several categories of noun. And what are those categories? Let's look at them. So now we are going to talk about the categories of nouns. The categories of nouns can be seen in this diagram. If you see the diagram, there are two big categories of noun. That is proper and common nouns. You can also see that the common noun is divided into two more categories, countable and uncountable. And finally, this countable and uncountable can also be divided into two more categories. Those are abstract noun and also concrete noun. So, to make it more clear, let us discuss about these categories one by one. We are going to start with proper noun. Well, what is proper noun? Proper nouns are the name that identifies someone or something, a person or a place. So, proper nouns are capitalized. For example, Johan is a proper noun. Since the word Johan represents a particular single example of a thing, that is Johan. Another proper noun examples, Mariam, Jimmy, Antuti, Senia, the Philippines, and many more. So what are the characteristics of proper nouns? As you can see, uh, some of the characteristics of proper nouns are, number one, 
Proper nouns start with capital letters. So every time you are going to write about proper nouns, don't forget to use capital letters. And proper nouns are also names of people, places, time, organization, etc. For example, like what we already know before, Johan, Mariam, the Philippines, Monas, and many more. And proper nouns usually refer to unique individuals. So, uh, Johan and Mariam is of course different. And most proper nouns are not found in the dictionary. They often occur in pairs or group. And here are more examples of proper noun. As you can see, you can find so many examples of proper noun. For example, Yunbin. Wow, is there any one of you who loves drama Korea? Yeah, Yunbin is one of the most handsome actor from Korea. And also Oxford, the Black Pink, Keith Burrow, President Jokowi, Monas, Song Juki, the Kia Motor, Earth, and many more. So that's all about the proper nouns. Now let's talk about common nouns. What are common nouns? Common nouns are the words that refer to most general things. For example, country, evening, laughter, puppy, umbrella, and many more. Here are the characteristics of common nouns. Number one, all nouns which are not proper nouns are common nouns. A few examples are like cup, art, paper, work, frog, bicycle, atom, family, and mine. Common nouns are neither countable or uncountable. Now, can you find the examples of common noun surrounding you? You can look at your left or right and then you will find so many examples of common nouns. Oh, okay. Nouns can also be categorized as a countable or count uncountable noun. A countable noun is a thing that can be numbered or counted. For example, airplane, sock, ball, noodle, teacher. Or we can also say two airplanes, three pairs of socks, ten noodles, and so on. Countable nouns examples such as bed, car, shirt, glasses, and many more are very easily found in your surrounding. On the other hand, uncountable nouns can have a quantity or amount but cannot be actually counted. For example, water, music, clothes, understanding, and so on. Uncountable noun examples such as fear, confidence, attractiveness, and also wisdom sometimes cannot be seen, but you can feel about such a feeling. So this is a reminder. Some nouns have dual category. What does it mean? So some nouns may be countable or uncountable, depending on how we use them. For example, we buy a box of chocolate. With S ending, it indicates that it is countable. Or a bar of chocolate. The word chocolate here is without S, so it is uncountable. So what is dif the difference between chocolates with S and chocolate without S ending? If we talk about chocolates, the thing that can be countable, we talk about the chocolate itself, for example, the bars of the chocolate, something that we can eat. But when we talk about a bar of chocolate and it is without S ending, it means uncountable. It means what we refer to is the ingredient of the chocolate itself. Another example, when we ask, 
what uh, how much time or what time is it so when we talk about how much time we talk about something that is uncountable we talk about the time itself but when we talk about how many times for example how many times have you gone to Australia for example then we talk about the frequency we talk about the occasion so in this case times is regarded as countable another example we sit in front of a television to watch television when we talk about television in the first uh, sentence in the first word we talk about the television set but when we talk about to watch television here television refers to broadcasting so dear students remember that both countable and uncountable noun can be divided into concrete and abstract nouns and the distinction between concrete and abstract nouns is the most important one of all when you are analyzing linguistic data so what is concrete noun and what is abstract nouns so concrete nouns are the words that most people think of as nouns they are mostly the names of objects and animals and normally it is countable and also substances of or material and this is the uncountable one for example the concrete nouns can be called as for example cake that is countable and also it can also be said as oxygen it is substances so it is uncountable but it is concrete another example is iron boy dog, pen, glass, apple, caterpillars, doors, and many more. Those are the examples of concrete nouns. You can feel the things. You can see the things. Now, what about abstract nouns? Abstract nouns name ideas, feeling, and qualities. Most though not all are uncountable so most of the abstract nouns are uncountable and many abstract nouns are derived from adjectives and verbs and have characteristic endings such as it ness ends and shin normally they are harder to recognize as a noun than the concrete variety now, can you find the example of abstract noun? Uh, this is your homework. So please look at your surrounding and think about the ideas that you have now and probably you will find the example of abstract noun. Okay, well, dear students, I think that's all about my explanation related to nouns. And I hope now you are familiar with the definition of noun the examples of noun and the categories of nouns in the next meeting we will discuss further about other different part of part of speech that we will be for thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh